Yes, dear. Well, that's just couldn't be more appropriate, uh, Alex, because um, <clears throat> just before um, um, Gareth made that comment about um, um, this book, The Idiot, Adam and I were looking in each other's eyes, weren't we, dear? And we sort of were looking really steadily in each other's eyes. And uh, I, was, I was thinking, so I tried to say something clever about this one. It didn't come, and then, thank God, uh, uh, I didn't have to. Um, but you see, it's just that, isn't it? Look at us. We're all looking into each other's eyes, aren't we? And what's there? What is it? If we have to, perhaps we can't even got a name for it, have we? Or have we got a name for it? Who can explain it? It's something wonderful, isn't it? I'm on the, on the verge of tears, aren't we? There's a dear old lady in this house, the mother of um, of our hostess, who met me yesterday. She doesn't speak English because she's Chinese. And our eyes just filled with tears. We looked at each other. Wonderful, wasn't it? It's love, isn't it? Just pure, perfect love. Love that asks no question. Makes no demands. This pure ocean of love. It's a gift, isn't it? It's not really I love you, is it? It's, it's just love, isn't it? Of course, I do love you, but it, that was how that's lower down, isn't it? It's, it's sort of a. And it includes everything, doesn't it? All, every. It doesn't see any darkness in you. It doesn't see any problem. It sees no shadow at all. It's nothing but perfection. Nothing wrong at all. And it's forever, isn't it? It just melts us before it. Nothing else matters. Am I right? I don't really know what else there is in life apart from this. It sort of, well, else rather melts away, doesn't it? At least at the time of its realization. So when I was young, I, I never understood what it really meant that God is love. I thought love, you know, meant my love for a girl. I didn't quite see what love, love of God meant. But now that I'm old, I think I do. And then the sort of little love, love of, love of, you know, love of a girl, of your dog, or well, the land, it's, it's sort of part of that, but it's down here rather. It's all contained within this greater love. So spiritual friendship, Alex, dear, well, you know, we don't always get this great gift, do we? It's perhaps rather quite a rare event for us, but, but we approach it by various ways and means, and people we meet, some more than others. Some, some it just seems to happen naturally, and with us, most, most others perhaps it doesn't. So often love is such a torment, isn't it, because we want to somehow capture it and keep it for ourselves and then we lose it and then we're miserable aren't we? It will never be happy again. 
but somehow at this level it's not like that, is it? It is beyond opposite, isn't it? It's beyond, you see, do you understand what, it's a sort of modern phrase, duality. Do you all get that? It really means you and me, doesn't it? It means two, good and bad, um, this and that. Well, you see, this, and on other occasions, we refer to it as the silence or the stillness, the presence. See, this is the third point in Christian language, the Trinity, you see, the, th the three, three aspects of the Trinity, the threefold structure of creation. And see, otherwise, without this third point, we're in this seesaw of, which is the world, this is what the world is, this and that, good and bad. This is where most people live in duality. Liking, don't liking, forever in conflict or desiring. Because this brings it all into one. And then you look at this as a sort of um, play of creation, but for the performance as it goes on. But one has this anchor in this higher reality, which is eternal. And then it, what it really is, is this, is this wonderful love that just... We just can't help but just this universal love which all is contained. All, all, everything. How can anything not be contained, even the awfulness of life? Well, love, that struggle you describe is very much part, just a part of the sequence, isn't it? I'm sure we all have that experience where we're trying to hold something together, trying to bring something about, working for some sort of result. Whereas, um, and I don't suppose we can, any of us avoid it. I've certainly recognized that in my own time. I think it's just one of the blessings of growing, of being is that um, as the work expands, you see, it it gets bigger and then these personal involvements melt and it, we're, are replaced by a greater trust, you see. The more you can trust in the impersonal rather than the John and the Alex to get it right. This is what uh, ultimately, well, this is the great humiliation isn't it that i can't do it that i john can't make the world a better place i'm a failure no, it's, it's, this is the great freedom really the surrender you see to something that's bigger god knows i do not honestly it's, to not know is a wonderful thing it's much better than knowing It's actually higher knowledge, isn't it? <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> mm -hmm.